Thanks to Printify for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. Starting a print-on-demand business is one of the most lucrative side hustles or businesses that you could start, but there are so many pitfalls and mistakes that you can definitely fall into when starting this business. So it's really important that you know exactly what you should be doing and what you should be staying away from in order to make you have the most successful business and make the most profit month after month. I'm gonna share with you the five biggest mistakes that I see so many new and more more experienced print-on-demand sellers making and what you should be doing instead. If you know these things before you get started in print-on-demand, it will help you tremendously to get off to a great start. But even if you've been going at this a while and you feel like you are just trying to find something that sticks, these are going to help you. I'm Hannah and on this channel I share about all things print-on-demand and making passive income. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you'd subscribe down below for new videos every single week. The number one mistake I see so many people doing that is really really holding their business back this is the number one thing that you can work on if you improve this skill you will definitely be able to make more sales and actually grow your print on demand business and this mistake is having a lack of a good niche selection so this is something that I talk about all of the time but it really is the bedrock that everything on print on demand is built on is having a good niche that you're going to sell products on I can't tell you how many times I get comments emails so many people reaching out to me saying I don't know what I'm doing wrong I am uploading every single day I am a really good designer I'm using great keywords but I'm not getting any sales and I ask them to share what kind of products they are selling and they'll tell me something like I'm making really cute cat designs for people who own cats and love cats or I'm making shirts for teachers just in general and those are amazing niches the cat niche the teacher niche those sell thousands and thousands of products every single day however there is so much competition in both of those different niches. So what you as a print on demand seller need to get really good at is figuring out what niches do have demand, but also have low competition. There are many different ways you can do this. You can go after trending things. You can go after very specific sub niches. You can create your own type of niches in a unique market that you've created you're familiar with. One of the ways that you can instantly do this is actually by just sub niching one of those niches that already does well. So if you were super interested in that cat niche, instead of just targeting all cat owners in general, you could target cat owners who play soccer or cat owners who are artists, cat owners who live in Miami. So just by honing in and making something a little bit more specific, you have a way bigger chance of actually standing out amongst the competition and not having to compete with pages and pages of results. Another way you can find these low competition niches that you might never be able to think of on your own is by using something like a research tool. This is what's really helped my own business. I've relied on a couple different tools to find almost every single niche that I target and print on demand. The first one is Merch Informer. This is just going to share with you all of the different niches and trends that are selling super well on t-shirts on Amazon. But even if you don't sell on Amazon, it's going to show you just in general where the market is going, give you great ideas for products and niches that are doing well. I will link them down below along with a coupon code. And I also love the tool Sales Samurai. Now this is more focused on Etsy sellers because it's going to help you research many types of products and not just t-shirts. So if you wanted to sell candles, jewelry, t-shirts, sweatshirts, you name it, you could do a lot of your product research on there and it's going to tell you what kind of SEO to use, what people are are selling these products at, what kind of keywords you need to include in your title, and if this even has the competition to warrant you going out and making a whole product on this. I will also have them linked below with a coupon code too. But you really do need to get comfortable as a print on demand seller finding what niche is actually going to sell and making sure there is not too much competition to drown you out. If you do that, you have the key to success in print on demand. Now, another huge mistake I see so many print on demand sellers making, especially those who are selling print on demand products on on Etsy, which if you haven't thought about selling print on demand products on Etsy, I will link a video here that walks you through step by step how you can do this and really sell super passively on Etsy. Now the mistake that I see a lot of people making is picking poor quality products. So in print on demand, there is kind of a balance between picking products that 
have a low enough cost that you can make a profit, but also are high enough quality that you're not going to get a lot of requests for returns and people having problems leaving negative reviews. Because if you're an Etsy shop or another small shop seller, any review really, really can help or hurt your business. So it's important that you are really delivering on the promises that you're making to your customers. So better products means that you are getting less complaints, less requests for returns, which is going to save you money and really help you build up a five-star shop. Like I mentioned earlier, I am partnering on this video with Printify, which I am thrilled about because they are who I have used for so long in my own print-on-demand Etsy shops, and I really do stand by their quality 100%. Now, what I love about Printify, if you're not familiar, is they are an all-in-one manufacturing partner that is going to allow you to connect with so many different types of products and manufacturers so you can sell almost any print-on-demand product on your Etsy store and not have to be connected to tons of different sites. You have one account, you control everything from it, and it makes selling on Etsy almost 100% passive. Now, I love that they partner with so many different high quality manufacturers and they really stand behind their products being good quality, but they also are some of the lowest prices you will find out there. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You guys ask me all the time what production partners I love to use. There are a few that I kind of gravitate towards all the time. I love Swift POD, Monster Digital, Awkward Styles. Those are all really great. But honestly, I've used so many of the other partners when maybe something has been out of stock and I have never had any problems. They always have really, really high quality items as well as really amazing printing. However, if you ever do run into a problem where a customer got something that's the wrong size, maybe the printing is a little bit off, there's a problem with their product, you just tell Printify and they are going to take care of everything for you. So you are not going to be out the cost of that item. They're gonna help make it right every single time. So if you haven't made an account on Printify before, I will link all of their information down below. I just can't recommend them enough if you are going to sell print on demand products on Etsy. The next huge mistake that I see so many print on demand sellers making is neglecting having good product images for their products. So if you're a print on demand seller, you are probably spending so much time researching what you're going to sell. You're spending a lot of time making the actual design, uploading it, writing that title and description. But sometimes I see a lot of people kind of throw in the towel at the very last second and they're using really generic, not great product images to go along with their item. Now, why this is really detrimental is because so many shoppers are simply shopping by the photo. Sometimes they don't ever read the description and the title is kind of secondary to what they actually are going to see. So it's really important to not only have a very clear photo that's close enough that you can see the image, but also have it be engaging and not just look like something that you kind of slap together. That's why I think it's super important, especially if you're a seller on Etsy or someplace like Shopify, that you do invest in getting some good high quality mockups. Now there are a few places that I do this. The one that I've been using for so long is called Placeit. They work on a monthly subscription basis. So you pay a one fee and then you can get access to their thousands and thousands of different types of mockups for almost any kind of product. If you are going to be making a lot of products and mock-ups, I really like using something that's more subscription-based instead of just buying each photo individually because if you're making more than just a handful of products, it's almost always going to work out in your favor to just pay the fee where you can get unlimited access to mock-up photos. And the other place I am really excited about is Kittle has unveiled kind of a new mock-up feature on their site. So many of you already love and use Kittle. They are one of my design platforms of choice. So if you already have that, you have access to an amazing mock-up suite there too. So definitely a great place to do mock-ups. But really, you just wanna make sure that you are giving your customers a good idea of what this product is really going to look like. As print-on-demand sellers, we don't have access to the product actually in our hands all the time. We are just selling it straight from the manufacturer manufacture it to our customers, but we want to give the customer an idea of what this is really going to look like when they wear it or when they actually see it in person, not just like some computer generated image. Mockups are really what converts sales. If you can't get someone to click on your listing, you never will be able to get them to actually purchase this item. So if you can get that first click, you are so many steps ahead of someone who is just going to have their item scroll on past. Take a look at your mockups, see how you think you're doing and find out if you maybe could improve those a bit. That
that will definitely help you convert more sales. One of the most detrimental mistakes I see a lot of print on demand sellers making, even if they've been in this business for quite a while, is neglecting having good SEO. And a lot of times, when you're selling print on demand products, good SEO really just comes down to two things. And that is going to be the title of your item and the description of your product. I have an entire video where I walk you through how I make my titles and descriptions for all of the products that I sell on Amazon, but there also are so many different tools to help you do this. I highlighted it above about researching, but the tool Sales Samurai really can help you optimize the SEO for all of your products. So if you know what your product is going to say, what you're going to make it, you can look that up and it's gonna tell you what keywords you should be using, what kind of title and description other people have used, what you should maybe consider doing, and give you a really great insight into which of those keywords actually are converting into sales. SEO can be a very tricky thing to kind of figure out on your own, and it's constantly changing with different algorithm changes, so it's really important to have some kind of method that you're going to use that's going to help you kind of figure out how you write your titles and descriptions to get more people looking at your listings. And I found that another mistake kind of within this mistake that I do see a lot of people making is they figure out, okay, these keywords are doing really well. So I'm going to make sure that I fill my title and my descriptions as chock full of them as I can. But Etsy, Amazon, Redbubble, all of these print on demand sites, they are very wise to that and they really don't like when people are what we call keyword stuffing. So you need to learn how to actually take these keywords and write them in a natural text form. Like I said, watch that video on my titles and description and that's gonna show you exactly what I mean when you're gonna write these keywords into your product listing in natural text to give you the best results to make more sales. One of the next big mistakes that I see so many print on demand sellers making is having insufficient marketing for their products. We would all love if 100% of all of our sales, all of our traffic was all just organic. But sometimes we are actually doing ourselves a disservice when we are doing nothing to promote our products just outside of the platform that they're on. I've shared this story before, but the way that I was able to tear up on Merch by Amazon is actually by creating a social media platform where I posted my first designs. I was able to get my first 10 sales, which can often take people months to do in just a single week. So I still stand by social media and any kind of promotion that you can do for your products being a really vital step in having success in this business. Now, there is so much to learn when it comes to knowing what to do, how to promote your products, what you should be focused on. So I do have a video that talks more about how you could utilize social media for your business. But what I found is that if I can kind of give myself an initial boost with those products that I'm listing, bring some direct traffic to them, then they will start actually ranking organically. So sometimes if you can just make that first sale by either you or someone you know, then that product will take off and then tons of people are going to start buying it organically because now it's ranking in search. And right to piggyback off that, it is very advantageous if you are able to, to invest in learning about ads for your products. So both on Amazon and Etsy, I've had a lot of success figuring out how the ad system works and how I can spend the least amount of money and get my products seen more. Especially when you're starting out, it's very tempting to not spend any money trying to promote your products. But sometimes if you're willing to just put a little bit of time in learning how these things work, you will see a lot of results putting that extra effort in either on social media or paying for some advertising. So many new print on demand sellers are leaving so much money on the table when they are making these mistakes, but there are also some other tips that you can actually implement to help you make more sales and more profit every single month. And I've laid out those right here. You don't want to miss that video. It is chock full of so many things that you can do to actually help increase the profit you're making on every single sale. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.